Dear students, from today we will be starting our uh, list of modules on word processing. So from word processing we mean that you have a software which you can use to write some of the content, to perform some of the formatting on that content, to print that content and there are certain different functionalities. There are many many different word processing softwares available in the market. One of the most important and most influential one being used today is Microsoft Word. That is a package from Microsoft Office and its name is MS Word. So in uh, our sessions, we will be using Microsoft Office 2013 version. So if you can install on your computers Microsoft Office 2013 version, then uh, you can really follow all of these modules and can practice these modules at home as well. So in today's module, these topics will be covered. We will discuss what is file button in MS Word, what are ribbons, what are dialog expander and what is mini toolbar. So let's start. So first of all, so this is the home page of Microsoft Word and this Microsoft Word have many many options. So in today's module we are going to discuss about file button which is available over here and then ribbons, dialog expander and mini toolbar. So file button is available over here. So whatever file you have opened you can perform different functionalities using this file button. So for example, you can have the information of your file which is available. For example, you can see that this is the information of this file which is being used. You can open new file. You can open any existing file which was recently being used. You can save you can print. So these are the most important things which you can perform. So let's start with new file. So when you open a file, uh, there are different options available. For example, you can see that this is file, home, insert, design. So all of these are called menus. And in each of the menu, there is a ribbon. So for example, all of the things available over here like the clipboard, font, paragraph, styles, editing. So this is basically the home ribbon. So if you go into insert, this is the insert ribbon like pages, table, illustrations, ads in, etc. Then similarly, this is the ribbon of design. This is the ribbon of page layout. This is the ribbon of references. This is the ribbon of mailings, etc. So in each of the ribbon, there are different groups. For example, this is clipboard group, this is font group, this is paragraph group, and this is style group. So we will be discussing each of the group in very detail in the next couple of modules. But here we are more interested to give you a very brief introduction of Microsoft Word. So the next thing is Dialog Expander. So you can see different kind of buttons in any of the ribbon. For example, some of the button are toggle state. So like if you write, this is ITC course. So if you select ITC over here, if you want to select any content, you can move your cursor over there and you can simply drag. So this ITC is selected. And then you can see this is bold. If you press it, so this is, this button is selected. So it is telling you that on this content, on this selected content, this is bold. However, if you go to course, then this is not the case. So such kind of buttons are available which are toggle state like this italic, underline. So if you go again back, so this is like this. 
and then there are some buttons which are like this one which have multiple options within the buttons so they are drop down menu buttons they are called drop down menu button so for example this font size is drop down menu button this font family is drop down menu button and then there is another thing which is called dialog expander you can see this small arrow in all of the groups so for example in the clipboard group there is this arrow if you click on it so then there are number of options available for example let's click over here so these are different other options which are not uh, exactly shown over here then for example in paragraph you have number of other options which are available so this is called dialog expander so we have learned about file button we have learned about ribbons we have learned about dialog expander and drop down menu buttons and then there is another thing for example if you have written this content and if you select this content then there is this kind of small menu is available whenever you click so this is called mini toolbar so this mini toolbar is available whenever you click over here so in this mini toolbar you can perform different things for example you can bold the content you can do it italic underline you can perform some formatting like i am doing and different things so these things we will be learning in next modules so if we try to make it revision that we have learned about file menu button we have learned about dialog controller uh, ribbon dialog expander and then mini toolbar so let's summarize today's module we have learned a very brief introduction of word processing softwares and we have selected one of the software known as microsoft word for our course and we have learned these concepts in this module known as file button ribbon dialog expander and mini toolbar